Angela Cerbi, Fred Film Radio from the London Film Festival, here with Veronica Franz and Severin Fiala. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Good directors afternoon. of The Lodge. And you are the second couple of directors I interviewed today. So I'm, <laughs> I'll ask you the same question I asked them mm -hmm. as a start. How do you work together? How do you balance your work on directing a film together? How did the others answer? Yeah, I wanted to uh, say no, exactly no, this, the same. No, this is too easy. No, no, no. no, no. Sorry, but, no. But, no but wait. That's well, the point. That's the point. She I wanted, wanted to ask the same question. I wanted, no, I wanted to ask the same question, which like, kind of answers your question. I think we just one, like, we one, share one brain. We share one brain, and it's actually really helpful, like doing a movie, because it makes you stronger. So, like, we don't have to discuss. Uh, every decision because we know we feel the same towards it so we don't have to discuss is this a good performance does this scene work because we know we agree on that but if it comes to fighting for stuff which takes up a lot of energy and we for example said we want to shoot this on 35 millimeter film mm -hmm. um, somebody like one of us might lose like the energy like after some time of fighting but then there is always the other one who says no we want this we want <laughs> this we need this so it's just like an extra chance of of uh, fighting or getting what you want in a way yeah and we have we we just don't split actually we don't but usually yeah. you now you kind of uh, kind of said we split kind of but we actually don't split yeah, our don't split work, duties like so we don't duties. split the work we we actually decide everything together and every one of us has his or her strengths and yeah but when it comes to decision we we do it together mm -hmm. you know i was asking you this because the other couple told me that they do more or less the same thing they decide all, all together and then there is one more they slightly more dedicated to one aspect of the shooting yes. and the other to the other aspect but when they are on on, on the set just just one speaks so there is one voice one directorial voice for the actors so they don't give you know there there is one more managing the actors directly so that it's easier for the actor to do it we don't do it we don't do <laughs> we don't, we, no, we think actually it's a second chance so one of us talks to the actors and if it doesn't work because sometimes it just doesn't work like it doesn't come out as you want it to be mm -hmm. uh, so the other one can go there and says we know he's he or she says the same thing maybe with different words maybe with other emotions and so it's a second chance to achieve what you had in mind mm. yeah. and still the crew yeah, thinks right. like or has said that they rarely encountered like two directors speaking only with one voice. Even if both of us are talking all the time, it's still like we're, <laughs> we have one voice. I think. Uh, an obvious question is, uh, why did you choose to tell this story? Because the, and why did you give this story this specific look? <laughs> yeah, that's a very general, very broad question. I think we, told the story because like after good Bang, we got lots of scripts mm -hmm. and most of them were involving twins so we felt they considered us like a twin experts which is kind of weird because i think there is no such uh, thing like twin a twin genre and some people are better at making films with twins and others are less interested or less <laughs> good at it <laughs> so that was weird to us but then we got the story for the lodge which was back then like untitled hammer horror film it said on the on the cover on the front page and we really admire the old uh, hammer movies so we were uh, uh, instantly intrigued and i think yeah something about the, the story just talked to us without like um us being able to really maybe uh, pin pin a nail like what exactly it was we felt okay there is something in there but we have to make it our own so that's why like in the course of of, of the writing process we also took over and and did a rewrite and really tried to to find find out what was interesting uh, in this story like for us <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no. It's only, you know, it's only one. Voice. You, exactly. I was saying this. The only <laughs> one voice. No, I was. I wanted to ask you something. I mean, I want going more, more, more specifically about the aesthetics of the film because it's uh, the the film required some a specific aesthetic to story what the 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 way it's shot by spe I mean, the location where it's shot, the kind of stories told, and uh, some special effects happening in the film. So. Is something that was 
how did you build it? I mean, it was it come it was it come like a like a f creative flow or was something that you have you thought about it and you created what little by little. I mean, no, actually, it it actually we planned on it in a way. I mean, we are kind of always dividing. We we plan, I think, I think things carefully. But, but on the other hand, we are very open to the process no, and but, also to improvising. No, but I think like the first answer to that, like, how do we shape how this whole thing is gonna look? I think is the choice of the uh, cinematographer because, like, in the American system. There would be many obvious obvious choices for uh, professional horror genre filmmaking, like American people, and we felt okay. No, we want to bring somebody on from Europe who is also known for a certain style of filmmaking, which is totally not related to American yeah. horror filmmaking. Yeah. To just bring that side that we also share to this movie. So that was the so first step. To give this to be a name, it's Timios Bakatakis, mm -hmm. and he works usually f also uh, with Yorgos Lantimos, and he's a master of natural light. Uh, so he can kind of, he creates like, uh, like, like it, it looks very easily because sometimes he moves only the curtains <laughs> and then he said, oh, now it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, but he is a really master at that, and we kind of wanted to have this kind of atmosphere. So mm. when it was like dark, because there's a certain point in the movie where there's no electricity anymore, we really tried to not use as much as it was possible like artificial light. So we mm. went for the darkness, mm -hmm. and he was very happy about that. I mean, I I know a lot of DPs who would have been very afraid because it's always a risk. But he's a real he's really courageous. He <laughs> When it comes to darkness, we found our master. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we wanted the whole thing like to start, like it starts in summertime, it starts with brighter colors, but like the longer it goes and then the electricity even fails, we wanted to drain it from colors and light and end up with a thing that nearly feels like a black and white movie. And like in Themios, we found a partner in not just doing it like in post-production where it always feels like forest and artificial if, if you just pull the colors from yeah, yeah, from oh, yeah. the from the yeah. movie but he really we did it with uh, help of our production designer and with like the absence of light and stuff like that and with how he treated the film stock so that was a decision to make it like happen for real and not to do it in the post which is always what we go for in all parts of the movie making and there are a lot of answers to your question actually the other thing was like uh, like the decision of perspectives mm -hmm. because there is a dollhouse uh, playing a role in the film and so we kind of um we kind of had the idea that also like the real house kind of has sometimes like you you you, you have the feeling or you don't know are you in the dollhouse or are you in the real house so we chose those kind of perspectives to make that kind of uh, yeah to make that yeah. yeah the question is who is playing with those dolls <laughs> who's playing like in the dollhouse and in the real in the real world in a way so that that was the inspiration like the initial one and in Thimios we found like a partner like in, in crime who is willing to push it really far all of our uh, visual ideas in a way so you were not so did you did you keep any of the classical aspects of genre films or did you or did you want to get away from from them as much as possible you know we are not so interested in labels we are interested in good movies and you know like great horror films can be great movies if they talk about something interesting or important and if they take the character seriously mm -hmm. so we would so we we are not interested in is this now a horror film or is it a psycho thriller or is it an art house movie we are not interested in that mm -hmm. we're interested in characters and to make them work and to tell a suspenseful story and what's great about horror film is that it is kind of a shell where you can play with and you can kind of confront the audience with issues or abysses they usually don't want to see <laughs> yeah. but if it's in a suspenseful way they they stay or they're mm -hmm. interested and like you also you're con kind of kind of also fascinated by it by those abysses that yeah, you maybe, don't want to see. Yeah, maybe yes. you know this is a very Austrian. Uh, maybe this is a very Austrian. No, no, it's uh, true. It's true. It's true. And we are. That's the movies we kind of want to see. We want to see films that 
show us stuff that really shake us that mm -hmm. change like the the person who we are and like not saying our films achieve that but that's what we're looking for that's also what we're trying to do and the worst uh worst fear is just recreating a cliche which is mm -hmm. just recreating the formula of of uh of conventional horror movies in a way um, that that's why we always try to go for the real thing like shoot in real places uh try to like try to make them shine and make the actors shine as the people they are like really bring all of those personalities to the to the film that that would be the ultimate goal instead of recreating cliched characters cliched horror film houses and the cliche cliched structure for yeah. a horror film which makes everything flat doesn't give any kind of personality yes, I mean, or anything. Sometimes if you're very tired and you turn on the television, you like, you know, those formulas too. And uh, uh, we're just not those persons. We are, mm -hmm. we are not so interested in jump scares. We are interested in a, like a scary atmosphere or in like in, in also like in open spaces, in mysteries. So that people have the chance to think and to fill like the, 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 the holes or the gaps in with their own fears, thoughts, emotions. We are interested in this game with mm -hmm. the audience. And we are not like, we don't like to serve kind of fast prepared food, but we kind of share the meal, I yeah, think, yeah, I <laughs> like with small plates. And sometimes <laughs> you might choke on a bone. Like <laughs> 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 but I remember that. Now, the thing is that actually your films, this one and the previous one, they have a specific atmosphere that stays with you. Though your films are films that you don't, do not forget. Mm -hmm. Maybe you forget the, the complete storyline, mm -hmm. but you know, but the atmosphere, the feeling that, that, that you got stays there, which is a good achievement, I think. Thank, Thank you, you very much that yeah. you say that we are very proud no, of when is. we achieve something like that. <laughs> because like for jump scares, like as Veronica said, they only last for a second and that's like fun, but still yeah. like there is nothing that... that and then they're all the same. They're yes. not it's different. It's a formula. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. If you watch too many horror films, they don't work for you anymore. Exactly. And even if like our film has no or not too many jump scares, we still hope that if you, if you really like try to invest in it and watch it like honestly that it like um, does something and stay with you. I think we really also take seriously, seriously what it means to be scared because you know there are these fun scares and this but we really I think we in when we go to to cinema I want to see something which is really frightening or which kind of confronts me with my fears yeah. and not only like uh, like uh, yeah the Disneyland version of and uh, fears. Oh, yeah, fears. That's, yeah. yeah, that's the, the problem. That because for that, like in order for that to work, you have to invest yourself, and you have yes. to fill the gaps with your personality, as you said before. But some people are not willing to do this because they're looking for something else, like for maybe the Disney uh, version of the scary movie. And for those people, maybe on the, our film doesn't work. Doesn't work. But it's yeah. not. Yeah. It's also not. They say, well, people don't want. Yeah. Happens. No, 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 because they're they meant for for those people. It's meant for people who really want to also maybe find out something about themselves in the cinema and also are prepared to be hurt and yeah to feel bad maybe sometimes yeah <laughs> <laughs> to feel bad but but you know to to feel something m mentally more than just just a, s a simple scare and then yeah. a jump and then it yeah but this it's Plays with your mind. Yeah, well, we like both. We like playing with the mind, but we also like physical reactions. Mm -hmm. So, and like, uh, like with Goodman Mommy, for example, three people fainted in the cinema. We are very proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Venice when you when you showed it, and it was it was really it was a mixed reaction, if yes. I may say so. Yes, yeah, of it's the Which same is... here again. I think yeah. so. People who kind of go for that, they are really kind of they they come to us and say, "Wow, this was an experience mm -hmm. for me." A real experience I haven't had in a long time in cinema and other people just kind of said oh I didn't care which we, we take this as a compliment because a film that's for everyone we don't believe in in those uh, things because people are different and they want different things from film and uh, films and if a, a film is great for everyone we don't usually don't trust it it's something's wrong with the <laughs> film <laughs> yeah it's something fake probably or you no know, pr uh, cons constructed but uh, but she not on all of us yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah well thank you very much thanks a lot to, Ver to veronica friends and Severin fiala for the film the lodge from the london film festival i'm angela cherby for fred the festival insider <laughs>